Hi everyone, my name is Harman Deep Singh and in this video I will be talking about how to calculate mean for group numbers using the second method which is our assumed mean method. I have used the same example just like I used in part 1 of the video wherein we, we calculate the mean using the direct method. So uh, in that method the formula was sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi. Here the formula is A which is used for assume mean plus sigma fi di divided by sigma fi. And let me explain you all these terminologies. A is nothing but your assumed mean. So what we do is we have this class intervals which is 10 to 25, 25 to 40 etc. And what we we go ahead and assume a mean from the xi series. This is your xi series. Now generally if you see this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers in this uh, xi series. Generally we uh, you know pick up the central number and we, we use that as a assumed mean. Now in this case since these are not odd numbers these are even six numbers so if it is odd number it is easy to pick up the middle number but since it's even set of numbers so we, we will go ahead with the upper number so instead of between 47.5 and 62.5 we'll pick up 47.5 and use that as uh, assumed mean number for this equation and we will write that as A is equal to 47.5 which is assumed mean is equal to 47.5. You can also use 62.5 but uh, it's better to use the upper number. Now we've got A which is assumed mean. We have to find sigma fi di divided by sigma fi. Sigma fi is easy. This is 30. Uh, we already uh, know how to calculate this. Uh, simply add all the frequencies you'll get sigma fi. For fi di now we need di to calculate fi di we already have fi so here's how we calculate di di is nothing but your xi which is this number minus the assumed mean so in our case our assumed mean is 47.5 so 17.5 minus 47.5 which is minus 30 17.5 uh, uh, so this is 32.5 sorry 32.5 minus 47.5 which is minus 15 47.5 minus 47.5 which is 0 so on and so forth that, that's how you calculate di now simply multiply fi which is this frequency this column into di to calculate fi di so 2 multiplied by minus 30 minus 60 3 multiplied by minus 15 minus 45 simply go ahead and do the same calculation like this for all these 6 intervals and then add all these numbers so when you add all these numbers you will subtract this minus 45 and minus 60 from some of this because this is minus. What we get is 435. Now the formula says A assume mean which is 47.5 plus sigma fi di which is 435 divided by sigma fi which is 30. This, this is in brackets remember that and apply the bod mass rule here. So 47.5 plus 14.5 which is equal to 62. So in, in our first example when we use the direct method, again the answer was 62, here also in this method the answer is 62, which means whether you use, you use any of the three methods, your answer, your mean will remain the same. Uh, in the next video I will be talking about the third method. Uh, I just hope you enjoyed this and uh, there was something to learn in terms of calculating the assumed mean method. Thank you so much, have a great day.